going back to the manufacturer specification, the actual ma uh, major diameter of this particular valve is 312 thousandths of an inch. The company that provides us with the knurling tools, their suggestion is to remove any of the taper or any of the bell mouthing in the guide assembly, we would step that up to remove all the bell mouthing by five thousandths of an inch. So the minimum knurler that we need or the reamer that we're going to use is 317 thousandths of an inch. And this one here has been selected at 317. Okay, taking a look at the condition through inspection of this particular valve guide, we have what's called a bell mouth effect. So our guide typically looks like this. Worn wider than manufacturer specifications at the top and worn wider than manufacturer specifications at the bottom. What we need to do with our 317 reamer is come in here and open this thing up completely so that it gets rid of all of the bell mouthing so we end up with an oversized guide. Now this will be 317 thousandths of an inch. Now that we've selected the 317 reamer, we need to oversize this worn bell mouth guide and bring it back to a larger dimension. One of the best procedures is to use the hand arbor for this because you get a more definitive result when you're using the hand arbor because it allows you to feel what's going on in the process of cutting this old guide. Now remember, this guide is an integral guide. Now we're going to use the appropriate cutting oil to lubricate this and drop it down directly into the hole. It should not go through the hole at this point because we're five thou over the manufacturer's major diameter of 312. Again, we're using a 317 reamer. Using your hand slightly on it, you put light pressure, turn in one direction, and start to remove the material cutting directly through the integral guide until we manage to get the tool all the way through. Now I've cut into the unworn section now and it's a little harder to push through. Sometimes you can use a um, reduction gear drive which you will see in the next process to get through here but it's a lot more definitive if you do it by hand so you get more feel for the process instead of using a piece of equipment where you run or where you don't have that hand feel of what you're doing. Now that we've cut all the way through, the best thing to do is take the reamer out in the same direction of the cutting so that it doesn't uh, ruin the carbide cutting blades on the cutter and it doesn't cause any problems with the head or the integral guide. Now you can see in here all the material that's been removed from this reamer. That's brought us up oversized.